Hello everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the news of the day, the highlights that we are going to discuss for today. So yesterday there was not a uh, like you know a session taken due to the internet issues at my place due to it's a heavy rain and all. So we'll be taking up the topics that are there in yesterday's newspaper also. And today we have a really amazing topics that are to be taken up. So first we'll start the discussion on them. So if you look into this, the first few topics at least you know from here to here. All these articles are covered under the Hindu. Okay. But when it comes to the last four topics are also extremely important. In fact, these topics of these will take up two focus topics today instead of one how you take it every day. Okay. So first topic that we'll be taking up for the discussion today is going to be the right to be forgotten and the essential, you know, defense services bill. So these are the two things that would be taking up for the day. But now the point is, in India, we all have a right, we all have such a kind of a right where we can live our life as we want. Through the article 21, we do have some kind of a right to life and liberty. But now, if there is something that has been created about a person and if that is present forever in the internet, is it not the violation of the privacy of the people? It is definitely. If there is any content that is of a person is being shared on the internet widely. It is definitely a violation of the person's privacy. Now, a very interesting petition has been filed. A particular, you know, a actor in Delhi High Court. So today, let's understand what exactly is the petition and what is he talking about. So this person has filed a petition in the Delhi High Court where he says that the photos of him, the videos, the articles, whatever that are present on internet should be removed. A very interesting petition in fact to be definitely it's going to be a very important topic for us to understand. For all of us when we say we have a right to life and liberty but this person says now I also have a right to be forgotten. If there is something that is related to me on the internet and everywhere it is my responsibility to ensure that my privacy shouldn't be hampered. So I approach the court. The similar way this person has reached out to the court. He says that he has a right to be forgotten. And he says that is a part of right to privacy, which is again a part of right to life under Article 21 of the Constitution. A very interesting petition as I am telling you. So now the most interesting fact is, is do we really have a right to be forgotten? So what exactly is his petition? He says that the posts as well as in the videos on the internet related to him have caused some kind of psychological pain to him where once he was found you know, in a drunken drive case and after that the, the photographs and the videos of these have been on the internet everywhere. So now he say he have committed an offense erroneously by mistake he has done some offense and these photographs and the videos are present everywhere on the social media. Now his application says only a single thing. He says he has done a mistake in the life. But the point is if he has done a mistake that shouldn't be there in the internet forever. And yes, that's an interesting plea that has been filed by him. So where he says I have a life, I also have a liberty. He should also have some kind of privacy. So now he says that this kind of situation, these any images, the videos that are related to that incident should be removed under the right to be forgotten. But do we really have a right like right to be forgotten? And what is it talking about the Indian context when we mention too? So the right to be forgotten in India, it falls under the purview of individuals right to privacy. Which is again, if you have seen the bill of personal data protection bill, if that was yet, it was passed by a parliament, it would have been a part of it. But in 2017, we know very well the Supreme Court has declared the right to privacy as a, you know, a fundamental right. So now, which means when the right to privacy is becoming an intrin intrinsic part of a right to life of a person, then he also says, I also have a right to be forgotten. Now, do we have any provisions like this? in the personal data protection bill. So though the bill was not yet passed, 
there were some interesting provisions for that under this we have a clause 20 and the chapter 5 of the bill says that the rights of data principle which also mentions what is it called right to be forgotten i quote the bill it says the data principle that is the person whose data is related to shall have a right to restrict or prevent the continuing disclosure of his personal data by the data fiduciary the data fiduciary is someone who is actually using a data so they say that yes this person has a complete right to stop this kind of transfer of the information to the people so in one way they say under the right to be forgotten we can delink we can delink the data we can limit we can delete we can correct whatever it is needed to so here as i told you a data fiduciary could be anyone any person it could be a state it could be a company it could be an entity who is like you know dealing with your personal data so at any point of time when you talk about this kind of privacy right to be forgotten the sensitivity of the personal data and the information cannot be determined independently but that would be taken care by authority called as data protection authority so at any point of time this bill did mention about this kind of case so they have to know about the sensitivity of the data and all they have to do but do other countries recognize this kind of right now that's again important thing to look into so there were many cases with respect to that also where uh, there is one particular case that was there in court of justice for the european union in 2014 by a spanish court where the case like you know there is a person who disputed that the google search results for his name continued to show results leading to an auction notice of his reposed home so the home which has been sell, sold by him that is something which is shown so now this google is showing this forever so they say he is a, it is a right it is a violation of his right to privacy but now they say that has been taken very seriously and like you know things went on in one perspective to understand yes there is a possibility that we should be making this a part of what do you call it as uh, like you know what what do you call it as we should take it up into the consideration of the right to be forgotten could be a part of right to life because which is also a part of you know right to privacy and the european union also stated the right to be forgotten means individuals can ask the organizations to delete their data it is possible that if an individual asks the organization to delete that data yes they can do it so they say in this particular case but however the european union court stated that the right to be forgotten under european law would not be applying beyond the borders of the states so they ruled in favor of the google stated that it was contesting a french regulatory authorities order so where they say at any point of time that's a very different case but now in india also this right to be forgotten has become now a very interesting case we just have to wait and see about how long this particular case would go right so that is something in this particular scenario let's move to the next one that i also would like to take up the focus topic number 2 today is about essential defense services bill we know very well that some time ago the government has taken a decision that the ordnance factory boards will not be continued in this particular way rather they would be made equal to that of a corporations so what is a great difference that's going to happen here is this right as a result of that the ordnance factory board will no longer be exactly the people who have been working under this as a government employees will no longer be the government employees because their scenario would be getting changed here so now this bill so as a result what happened they started doing the strikes so after that the government has brought an ordinance which is talking about called essential defense services ordinance where they prevented the staff from the government owned ordnance factories from going into a strike so around 70000 people have been working with the 41 ordnance factories across the country so this bill says that like you know they would provide for the maintenance of essential defense services so as to secure the country because if these people are not working if these people are going to do certain kind of strikes and all the government feels that there is a problematic thing where the defense equipment production would be brought you know reduced so the government states that this is one of the oldest organization which is working under the department of defense production so now they say it's a integrative part of it so they would like to ensure we have to ensure that an uninterruptible supply of the items that are coming from them has to be going on and the government will now declare certain kind of services as essential defense services which shall not be stopped so that is something which has been brought up right now so many people who have been working with them will have to now be very very careful in this case 
right and the next two articles which are also there in the indian express indian express includes the third topic is about laws for the surveillance in india so what are the different kind of laws that will be allowing the legal surveillance in the country that is a particular thing like you know the information technology act you could say you know these kind of acts could be taken up and then you also have the great indian bustards of kutch so what is their habitat what is the threat to them you know that is the other important article that is covered under the indian express now coming to the articles in the hindu now there are some interesting articles that have been there and analysis has been conducted by a particular organization which has revealed that there has been a great presence of microplastics in ganga so which is again an important topic and the kind of justice system we have in india where poor will be able to will not be able to get the bail so easily whereas rich are able to get it so there is a chance of influence and all so the supreme court judge has talked about like you know the parallel legal systems that are there so there was a bail given to a particular uh, like you know mla's husband in the up by the high court the supreme court has stated this is wrong and they cancel the bail also and we know many people have lost their parents during the covid 19 and children have become orphaned so government has brought a portal where now a common people like you and me can report about this kind of people to the government and the rbi is also coming to come across with their own digital currency coin that is going to be other important thing and some time ago the national green tribunal has actually put a ban on the firecrackers now that has been challenged in the supreme court my supreme court is supporting the ngt very clearly that yes there is a need to ban and the next things are that like you know where supreme court says for every election there is a need to secrecy an army is going to use a jammers to protect the forward bases so that we do not have to get any kind of drone attacks anymore and lastly they say the taliban is saying that if you want any kind of peace in afghanistan the president of afghanistan must resign you know these are the various things that we have for the day okay so these are the things that have been covered in the newspaper so now coming to this a very interesting announcement that you have for the academy so an academy is going to offer you the plus subscription with multiple benefits in fact that includes the subscription will not be just for one year if you are taking for one year it will be till the mains of that particular year and now if you are going to take the an academy subscription with optional you will be getting a discount of 25% by default plus 10% will be given to you if you are using the code ajay ias 10 you know if you are using the code ajay ias 10 you will be getting additional 10% a total of 35% discount so if you are taking with optional 35% discount plus you know test series of prelims mains as well as optional would be provided at free of cost to you and an academy would also deliver you the books directly to your home right so moreover the from 1st of august there would be hike in the price of an academy subscription if anyone is doing it it is better that you do it as soon as possible by the end of this particular month and you could use this particular code which is highlighted here and tomorrow that is sunday at 11 am you will be having an academy combat test also you could actually join that particular test by using the referral code and that is all for the day okay so thank you so much everyone for joining and i'll see you all again in the next session that would be on monday till then take care 